Welcome back everyone, my name is Jim. Thank you for joining me again on the RV Concierge channel. Today we have another listing. We have a 2021 Jayco Redhawk 26XM. Let's go take a look. This 2021 Jayco Redhawk 26XM is equipped with the new Ford chassis with the 7.3 liter V8, which is higher horsepower torque, and it's gonna get a little better fuel mileage. A couple things I wanna point out is the fiberglass front cap. That's gonna be very, very helpful because there's less places to leak. Um, let's do the tire size, cargo capacity. We'll do a loop around the outside and we'll jump on the inside. This one has the hand cooked tires and they are LT225 75R16. And let's get the cargo capacity. Cargo capacity on this coach is 2,453 pounds. That's great. You get the power step here. Now this is a gel coat exterior with the vinyl graphics, power awning with an LED light. Let's go through the compartments. First one is your LP bottle. Now this is like a little platform here. I do like that feature. You have outside entertainment with the speakers there. Microwave is vented outside. Your propane furnace is right here. And right next to that, you have your water heater and access to the back of the refrigerator. Next compartment is storage. Now this one is prepped to be able to add um, a television out here. You could probably set it right here on this platform. And inside there you have your solar prep. Moving on back. You have your outside kitchen with refrigerator, griddle, and there's a little grill right there. And you have a drawer over there. There is a light in there. Very nice little feature for the outside kitchen. And last compartment right here is some more outside storage with a shelf. I do like that they put these little clips up here to hold the, the kitchen door. Coming around to the back, you do have your backup camera right up top right here. And the access to the roof with that ladder does have a metal bumper right here on the bottom. 5,000 pound hitch. They actually put a 7,500 pound hitch on it with the seven pin and the four pin connectors. You have your outside shower, your fuel fill, your water connections. Your dumps are right here on the bottom. This is a full wall slide model. This compartment houses your water direction valves and you can store your hoses and stuff in there there is some low point drains right there and that one is locked but that holds the short power cord and you have a access panel right here i think that's to get at the mechanism for the bed there you got more storage right there And a little bit more storage right here. I really like how these doors turn into platforms so you can set stuff on there. And the last, you got your low point drain there. Last compartment here is the generator 4K Onan Quiet Gas Generator, which is more than enough to run everything in this coach at the same time. You got nice side view mirrors there. And that is the outside of this beautiful coach. Well, let's go take a look at the inside. All right, as we come through the door, you have your batteries under the step there. Now I have the slide outs in, and I wanna show you how much space is in with the slide out in. Man, you can get all the way back to the rear bathroom, no problem, with the slide out closed. Tons of space. All right, let's open it up and we'll show you the rest. All right, let's start at the cab and we'll work our way back. So again, this has the all new redesigned Ford chassis where the cab has been redesigned and you have the new 7.3 liter V8, humongous backup camera and infotainment center, all newly redesigned front seats that are super comfortable with bolsters on both sides with a really nice center console there. Above it, really nice bunk over the cab. Now something I wanna point out, 
This client actually went ahead and added wood rungs to the ladder because the metal rungs were a little narrow and they were hurting the feet of the kids that were climbing up there. So this is a pretty tall bunk, lots of space. That cushion will finish the dinette into a sleeper. So you have a sleeper here, the dinette's a sleeper, and a sofa Murphy bed. We'll get to that in a minute. Most of your controls are going to be right here. This hook was added by the client, but you have your generator start and stop, your slide motor, your tank heaters, your water heater, tank levels. They're all in there. A little bit of storage right above the door with an outlet up there. Over here, you have your kitchen. Super big kitchen for this size of a coach. Lots of counter space here, but you do have the glass cover for the three burner cooktop. These actually light up. You got the oven, the hood with vent outside, and the microwave. Dual stainless steel sink. I love the black fixtures in here. All of the door handles and the sink faucets and everything are black. You got a nice shelf in this storage closet. More storage there with the shelf. Love this tower of power right here. You have two 110 outlets and two USB outlets. That's great. Under the sink, tons of storage there. Definitely enough room for a waste basket, which is super important. You got a sponge holder right there and three really nice drawers right here. Furnace is right below the oven, but you do have a nice oven. And three burner cooktop. I'm loving the backsplash here, the little tile backsplash. The hood is lighted with an exhaust fan and convection microwave oven. Love that. A little storage right above there. And this does have the eight cubic foot gas electric uh, RV refrigerator. Plenty big enough for a weekend or even a week. Depends on how many people you have in here. Pantry right next to that. Love it. Got shelves in there. There's your remotes for the fireplace and TV. And all of your 110 breakers and 12-volt fuses are right here. Very well labeled. Next to that, you have the fireplace with a little shelf and a TV, which is on a swivel arm. A very big TV. And tons of storage over top of that. Wow, that is a lot of storage. Going back up front, I love this flooring. It looks like wood, but it's vinyl. You have a U-shaped dinette that does turn into a sleeper and can sleep taller people. This cushion comes out along with that back cushion and that angled cushion. And then the cushion right up here fills in that spot. You got nice corrugated nightshades on all of the windows and they are the frameless windows that crank out from the bottom. 12 volt and 110 under there. And right next to that, you have your wardrobe. Tons of hanging space on one side, shelves on the other side with a pillow. I think that's for the bedding. And then right below that, you have four drawers. Pretty decent size for all of your clothes. This one is really deep. And same with this one. Now this is a Murphy bed. I'll show you how that works. All right, pretty easy to convert this bed. You just have to take the back cushions off, set them to the side here. And right over here, you have your up and down arrow for bringing the bed down. And that is it, made into a bed. Gotta love it. Very easy. You got a couple storage compartments up there, windows around the bed. A couple things I want to point out by the sofa here. You have two outlets, one on either side. So when the bed is down, you have outlets to use. And then the bottom of the sofa is actually storage drawers. Those are for the front seats when you swivel them around. They become part of the living space. And coming back to the back, I love the Murphy bed floor plan because it gives you a huge rear bathroom. I love that this has the bowed shower rod with the soft curtain. Again, black fixtures in a shower with some shelves for your product. 
You have a vanity over top of the sink with shelves there. Tons of storage space there. Probably put even more shelves there. A ton of counter space here. Another black fixture with a stainless steel sink. And some storage under there. Your full house filtration is under there as well. Toilet paper shelf with uh, tons of storage there. And even over here by the toilet, you have a couple drawers and two more cabinets with storage. And you got your ceiling vent right there. Another window with the corrugated day night shade. Pedal flush toilet. And I love the pocket door with towel hooks. Just a really, really nice bathroom. Tons of space. All right, everybody, that is the 2021 Jayco Redhawk 26XM. This unit only has, I think, 1,600 miles on it. It's available for sale. If you would like to know more, you can text, call, or email me. Information is right there. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please stay tuned for more.